Yeah, the strengths of copper cookware is that copper is a great conductor of heat. It's able to transmit the heat very rapidly throughout um, the whole pan. So you're left with a pan that's got great evenly heated surface. So if you're cooking delicate things like scallops or shrimp, a nice simple example is uh, pancakes. If you're flipping a pancake and you notice one half is still raw and one half is cooked, that's because you're using a pan that is not an evenly heated surface. The tin is separating the food from the copper itself. So if the pan does not have a lining of tin or, or silver, those acids in the food can pull the copper right off into the food. It tastes metallic. If you leave it for a period of time, it's going to turn green. So the, the, that verdigris that you think of copper producing is an acid, thyme, and raw copper. The linings um, for these pans are either a traditional tin, and tin's been used as a lining probably for hundreds of years. Stainless is, a, is not a good conductor of heat. Easy to care for, uh, but the cooking of it, which is the whole reason to have the pan in the first place, um, isn't as, as good a material on which to cook because of the stickiness of the steel versus the relatively non-stick, inherently non-stick uh, tin or, or silver. Tin can melt at about 475 degrees. As long as there's liquid in the pan of some sort, you're not gonna have a problem with, with the tin melting. The, the liquid's gonna keep the pan at 212 degrees until all the liquid's gone. Even with a tin line pan, putting it on the stove before you turn on the flame, have some sort of fat in there to start. It'll, it'll take the heat as well as give you an alarm if something, if, if the phone rings and you're off to forgetting about the pan on the stove. Um, you'll know. Yep, tin is a relatively soft metal. It shouldn't be scoured hard to clean it. If you've got cooked on material, I always fill the pan back up with water, a little Dawn dish soap, and just let it simmer, loosen things up so that you can clean it up relatively easy. Scouring with these lined pans is going to eventually scour away that lining. Yeah, the average rule of thumb is if you're looking at a pan that has been used and you can see copper coming through the tin and in your mind you're adding it all up and it's about the size of a quarter time to get the pan retinned. So a little bit of copper showing through isn't a problem. When it begins to be total about the size of a quarter, it's at that point time to get it redone.